leave that one for a little bit because we do have a guest winner here in round number four Ilya Nishnik one of the strongest players of the area has defeated Kamil Dragoon Ilya how's it feel uh, pretty good finally I won a winning position <laughs> he was great <laughs> It started off in round number one against Sam Sevian. No. You were on the back foot at the beginning, but after that you came back and it ended up in a draw. And uh, after that you had another very pleasant edge against Lenderman, I think, right? Uh, well, well, no, in the first game I believe I was, I was in a little bit of a trouble after the opening and uh, I don't think Sam was ever in trouble. The game number two was what, uh, what I'm still kind of uh, hating myself for. <laughs> it was uh, a, a, just a completely winning position where I had an extra rook and and then yeah, oh, against Hans. Against Hans, yeah, against Hans Niemann, and uh, that well, was it a happens. Houdini escape on uh, his side. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> he 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 mentioned uh, his uh, his um, the game where he escaped down a queen, but it was a very similar pawn structure. There was there was this game. Queen that, versus knight. Exactly. That yeah. he, I believe he played in. Um, <laughs> and he won. He not only escaped. No, he, he, escaped, won. escaped oh, he won. He won that. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So uh, Hans is experienced uh, playing uh, down material, and he, as he as he claimed after the game, he's really good with knights. So. <laughs> Oh. Well, we're not we're in the past right now. You won a beautiful game today. How does that feel? You know? uh, it, it was it was actually yeah. It came came down to be a very interesting game. My my opponent surprised me with his opening choice to to go for a sideline in English. Uh, move number move number two bishop b4 is what my opponent played, and I was honestly not prepared. Um, Let's look uh, at that. Game. Trying to remember my analysis. Uh, couldn't do it. <laughs> Played what seemed to be logical moves, and it somehow it worked out. So yeah, I believe the critical point of the game is if you go back a couple more moves before my opponent allowed me to play c5. I believe that that probably uh, Camille did not, or un probably he either did not see c5 or, or greatly underestimated the idea. And um, he can actually play bishop h3 whenever he wants, and that's the point. So if, if he just wants to play bishop h3, which I agree should be his main plan here because I have a bishop pair advantage, so trading bishops by playing bishop h3 does make sense. However, allowing c5 is, is, is not exactly uh, the, the way to go in my mind. So if, if I were him, instead of playing bishop h3 immediately, I would have played b6. So just stopping c5. Mm -hmm. And the problem, the problem here with my position is that I have a very nice looking center, but those pawns never, never get to move anywhere. So I can't play d4 right now, and um, hey, because the pawn on c4 is hanging. And uh, if my opponent plays bishop h3, that would be well, let's say, let's say I make a, I make a random good looking move such as. I'm not sure if that's a good looking move, but <laughs> how about the queen e2? <laughs> now if my opponent plays bishop h3, takes takes. Yeah, takes, takes. And uh, here I can try to play d4, but now after I go d4, I immediately get an issue with a c4 pawn. So I believe mm -hmm. that my opponent's uh, play here will be based upon putting a lot of pressure against a c4 pawn by playing maybe knight a5, going back queen e6, and I wasn't sure what's going to happen. I believe that I would, I would have probably had to do this if I wanted to win, but mm -hmm. yeah, I, I, was, I was hesitant. Fortunately for me, uh, uh, yeah, Camille, Camille missed, missed on the C5 idea, and now my play is just extremely straightforward. And we do see a result that we had expected. Abimanyu Mishra has defeated his opponent. That makes it two in a row for the youngster. Two in a row after, uh, did he lose two, the first no, two? No, he, he lost, lost one of he them. He lost one against JJ. And he drew this, uh, the first one, And yes. I think he drew the first game, yes. That is true. So back to the game. Uh, where did you feel was the decisive mistake after that? Or was it just a slow build-up? I, I honestly, yeah, I felt like it, it just went downhill for Camille from this point on. He, he started spending time and he, he suddenly he realized how unpleasant this idea is, yeah, because it, probably Queen D7 was, or might have been uh, a slight inaccuracy, although I honestly do not really know what, what else. Because the D5 is coming and, and I don't think Black ever wants to take on C5, because mm -hmm. I would, I'm not even sure if I would have taken the pawn back. Because the idea of d5. yeah, like yeah, exactly. So instead of queen d7, if you can go back one move, yeah. So if black takes on c5 right now, I was planning to play d5, and uh, and I just have so much pressure, and all uh, these central pawns is what what gives me so much space uh, combined with a very powerful bishop on f4. I, I believe this this might actually I might actually have a decisive advantage at this point already. So um, I honestly don't know what what black should have done instead of queen d7. It seems it seems tough. Those knights point. are just uh, exactly really so, stepping on each other's right. Mm. So yes, and here after I played d5, I'm not I'm actually I'm not I'm I'm not very happy with with uh, with how I played this position out. I'm, 
everything I did looked logical, but but still, I didn't have or I didn't feel I didn't I didn't have as much as I would like to have as much advantage as I would like to have, if that makes any sense. Yeah. So here I have an amazing pawn structure, and 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 my main strength here is that even if yeah. So this move c6 that I made, I'm. Or, or, or right here, yeah. I, I'm not sure. I couldn't. I, I was trying to make it work without playing c6, mm -hmm. but it just it just wasn't working somehow. I, I, Black would always get to trade both both of the c pawns, and I couldn't. Even that position, I'm pretty sure without without the c pawns would probably be slightly better for me. But I just I just yeah, there was a really a judgment call here. I decided to go for 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 this structure where uh, obviously the the space is my main strength and. Uh, if the, the only my only issue with this position is that if Black somehow manages to get their net over to d6 here, um, it, it's not going to be as clear anymore, because so the only way to do that is via e7, c8, or h8, f7. Exactly. This is exactly why I included the move knight f3 earlier, so that the knight has to go back to so, so, so that the knight has to go to g6 right right here. Actually, the engine does not really like the move knight g6 surprisingly, even though I said that was the only move here. <laughs> I guess Maybe I'll he just wants to give up the pawn. No, yeah, I guess the alternative. The yeah, alternative was to take on c5, but I, I, I believe it would be it, uh, Black would get himself himself in trouble by by having this this double pawn structure, mm -hmm. and yeah, I, I just felt wrong. So I, I was I was totally expecting everything has happened, and here yeah here I suddenly realized that I I I missed I missed my opponent's counterplay. So here my original plan was to play knight d2 right now. Knight to f4, maybe? Yeah, exactly. Knight f4 was, was, was what I vastly underestimated. And here, there is this one, knight c4. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. All right, let's take a look at how the game more or less ended because it okay. seems that <laughs> he didn't get a lot of counterplay after that. It just seems his position was paralyzed. Yeah, well, well I think I could have won faster at one, at one moment. So if we go a couple of moves forward. Yeah, it takes knight, knight e3, king h7. I, I, yeah, I missed knight h8, knight f7 idea. So here, if I just want to avoid knight h8, knight f7, I should just play rook e1 first. And I believe the difference is that my rook gets to a7, and I'll have queen e7 in the end. So I'll I'll apply a lot of pressure on the 7th rank. You're rate. not in time to get to and, d6. Yeah, and black is not it's one move too short to get their knight to d6, mm -hmm. because the c7 falls. So I think this was, I, I, I was, I was very unhappy with myself that I missed such an easy plan. And uh, after another five, actually, black is right on time. It's probably still losing because of, once again, I think this G4 move is very important because I, I, I want to make sure that after white, uh, black captures on the five, I recapture with a G pawn. Thus creating myself, uh, creating another um, point of entrance for myself, which is a G file. So at this point, I think Camille was in a, in a, in a, in a time pressure. And he, yeah, he, he, he tried doing something, but it's it's really difficult. <laughs> yeah. It's really difficult when you can barely move, especially and with no time. We do have another reserve. Christopher Yu has won wow. against uh, JJ Ali Morandi. The youngsters on our roll today here in Group B. Nice. Actually, I didn't expect uh, uh, Christopher to win. He looked like he might have been in a, a little bit of a trouble there, but. That's discussion for another time, I guess. <laughs> he pulled. He pulled us through. Uh, what is, what First is win. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm extremely happy with myself. And uh, what can I say? Yeah, and this is just crushing. Right. Beautiful game, Ilya. Always a pleasure to see you breaking through. And uh, good you. luck in the rest of your games. Thank you so much, Thank you, Alejandro. Thank you for guys. joining us here, mm -hmm. Ilya. For sure.